E F G A B C D and E. F and then G would be that very line right here. Okay. So from your middle C back to your left, be on your left, you're at the piano, your left, this is my left. For real, I don't know if this thing will reflect it back and forth, but there you go. The middle C is right directly in the middle, right directly in the middle of this piano. Middle C. Ting, ting, ting. Right there. Now, once you figure this out, once you figure these steps out, you'll be okay. So you always remember how many is that? One, two, three. So and that's always the E, right? Sitting on, on under that. Right? That's E. That's a C. Right? That's a D. And that's the G. And that's just not that's just not guessing. That's or looking up here. It's because I once you get familiar with these lines, these ledger lines here, on this staff, right? You'll get familiar with it, and you know what you're reading. So if I was having a hard time there for a minute, and understand that once you get it, and it becomes routine, and you get used to your mind, get tainted, bang. And you'll get used to it till you just pick it up and you just do whatever you want with it. So that's what you got right here, open string. So if you look and you see, that's what you're going to have. An open string, you just hit it. E, A, D, and a G. See, because that, see how once it gets on the staff, the one that you read goes under there, it changes, see? And it goes up here above it. It changes, but when you see it, you know that this is a bass uh, staff, a bass clef on this staff. You can read this and you know exactly what that is. <clears throat> now, another method of tuning is to tune the fourth string in, the uni in uh, unison to the E or the 19th white key to the left of the middle C on the piano. Place the finger, number two, place the finger behind the fifth fret of the fourth string. This will give you the tone or pitch of the third string A. Place finger behind the fifth fret on the third string to obtain the pitch of the second string D. Place the finger behind the fifth fret of the second string to obtain the pitch of the string, the first string G. So this is this is where you would go. If you want, see, in other words, if this way you would go, you would go to the what's up here on top, which that's where the base would be sitting, right? And that's the fourth string up here. See? One, two, three, four. Counting up. E, A, D, G. Right? First fret. Second fret. Third fret. Fourth fret. Fifth fret. And you put your finger here. You're going to get this string right here, open string, when you pluck it. But you put your finger up here and pluck it, and that's going to give you this tone here. Right? And vice versa. So. That's how you say that open string. And it's uh, string number. So that's how you get the pitch or the note of the next string. 
Let's play it on that fifth fret. Pluck the string, pluck, pluck, pluck. You know, you put that there. Pluck that, pluck it. Then open string. Bling, bling, bling. These two is 